what's up, Bailey here. And for those who don't know me, I'm a virtual assistant, OBM, and mentor for people who want to start their own virtual assistant business. I left my toxic nine to five four years ago and since then have built a business that I'm proud of that provides me the freedom that I desire and that pays the bills to boot. And I'm here to show you how you can do it too. Unlike other social media sites, LinkedIn caters to the more professional side of networking. However, you can't make connections without a good profile. Thankfully, optimizing your LinkedIn profile is easier than it sounds. For starters, you need to make sure the algorithm can find you. To do that, take advantage of the headline by adding keywords that reflect search patterns of your ideal clients. For example, if your specialty is content creation, you'd add content creator to the headline. That way, when someone searches for a content creator, you'll pop up in the search. Your bio is a key piece of real estate and should be filled out in the first person. Keep in mind keywords as well when you're filling out your bio. While you don't need to write a novel, one to two paragraphs are good to provide an overview on yourself. And bonus points if you add a few statistics of your achievements. Next up, you'll want to add a location to help the search algorithm. One of the perks of being an online entrepreneur is that you can work with clients from anywhere and it's important to use the location feature to your benefit. Let's say you live in Los Angeles, but you want clients from New York or maybe even London. You would set your location in your ideal area. That way, when someone searches by location, you'll pop up where they're searching. I will caution you to make sure that you're disclosing that you aren't exactly from that location when you're speaking with them, just in case they need someone local. It's a quick and easy way to get noticed in your ideal location, but whatever you do, do not leave it blank. Let's move on to images. Every good profile needs a headshot so people can see who they're connecting with, but not all profile pictures are created equal. For your photo, make sure your face is well lit, look directly at the camera, and try not to have any distractions in the background. You can also wear a bright piece of clothing. Say hello to that yellow blouse that has been in your closet forever. You finally have an excuse to wear it. You can also use props like coffee mugs, laptops, or even a pet to show off your fun side and add some intrigue to your profile. But make sure that you're not distracting from the real prize in the photo, you. Besides images, you'll also want to include any reviews and accomplishments your business may have. It might feel like bragging at first, but those snippets of information are often helpful for the potential client or customer who wants to get to know you a bit more. Speaking of getting to know you, please take a second to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're enjoying this video, then please take a second to hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Arguably, one of the most important sections on your LinkedIn profile is skills and endorsements. When people are on your profile, they're going to want to see what you're good at, but also what people think you're good at as well. You can ask your connections for endorsements on certain skills. It's important to use this to your advantage, but do not ask random people who don't know you or haven't experienced your amazing skills in action. If you're not sure about what skills to put on your profile, take a look at your resume and see what skills are listed and go from there. Now, you don't want to put too many, but you also don't want to put too few. Make sure that you're adding between five to 10 specific skills that are relevant to your field and that will make you stand out to potential clients. I've said this once, but I'll say it again. Your skills and review sections are an important part of your profile, so take some time on them. You want your potential clients or customers to know what you bring to the table. At this point, you should have an optimized profile with a searchable headline, an SEO bio, clear profile picture, great reviews, accomplishments, and your skills and endorsements. While it's more professional than Facebook or Instagram, it is still a social media platform and it does need to be updated regularly. If your profile goes stagnant or isn't updated for what you're currently looking for, you could potentially miss out on connections, clients, and maybe even your dream opportunity. It goes without saying that while you have an updated profile, you should be making sure that you're active, connecting with others, and posting regularly. I have a lot of LinkedIn posting tips in another video that I've added below. LinkedIn is a great platform for professionals, and it could be the best place for you as well but I'll leave you with one last piece of advice. Your LinkedIn profile should be an overarching view of what is on your resume, and your resume should be job specific to what you're applying for. 
Keeping these tips in mind when setting up your profile will make sure that you do so with ease. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit the subscribe button below, smash that like button, and don't forget about the notification bell, which allows you to be the first to know when I post a new video. I create videos all about how to start your own virtual assistant business, and I get very real about the trials and tribulations of being a business owner. You don't want to miss it.